Bright Suns, Brick fans, and welcome back to another episode of Building Bar 2 Galaxy's Edge in Lego. This week is a little midweek special one. I was going to do a chandelier episode for you guys this week, but I've decided to push that one out to next week. Following the disaster, the horrific disaster last week that happened uh, and the start of the rebuild for Doc Ondas, I got a little bit inspired by all of you guys and your comments about how much better the new build was. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go back and really finish up that entranceway. And also I decided to jump in and fix some of the other things in the build that I wasn't that happy with. So let's jump right in and take a look. First off, I'm just gonna show you guys the old entrance. Now this is obviously old footage. Uh, you can see here, it's got a lot of uh, gaps throughout. It was kind of my first attempt at doing this sort of circular, almost tunnel look here. It does stick out a long way off the building. But uh, if you had seen it, this is the disaster moment where it all went pear-shaped. And here is the resulting rebuild. Now, a lot better shape, I think, matching the reference a lot better. A lot less gaps throughout. I liked the fact that uh, this top section did stay. I think that worked well before, but definitely this bottom section in here and the opening to the doorway uh, has changed substantially. The outer part of this also has changed and looks a lot better with the more indented look using the wedge plates uh, in particular really kind of made it feel like it was meant to be a part of the wall. The old one did stick out a very long way. Uh, which I never particularly liked. But uh, yeah, generally the overview of it, I think w has worked really well. And I think it's a very fortuitous thing that I broke the old one. You will see uh, down the edge of this, I do have these dark tan uh, slopes, which I'd always intended to put in there, but they finally came in, made a big, big difference uh, and made it feel a little bit more rounded. So that pretty much wraps up the uh, new entrance way. Here's a little look at the mezzanine floor, the start of that, and now for the upgrade to the flooring. This is the old flooring, of course. Uh, I had always intended to replace the white, uh, in particular, the little uh, snot bricks that are coming up there. But just generally, I think this one was a bit lumpy uh, and not as refined, whereas this newer floor, uh, I have stripped back a lot of the extra tiles that I put in there. I've replaced all of the sand, I've replaced all of the white pieces, and I've also started just getting this repeated pattern of the dark bluish gray and the lighter gray outsides and then in this section here i actually broke them down to be the uh, one by twos i actually had some snot bricks in here as well uh, and then i've also placed in some wedges uh, some little cheese wedge tiles and just slid them in there to fill the gaps obviously there's a couple here that just wouldn't match up and didn't allow for that uh, but yeah, overall, I think it, it works really well. That middle section now is stuck in and also this uh, little outer section of those four round pieces is stuck. So that actually holds it in place. This outer section does have a little bit of movement, but I will put some little stoppers in uh, there so that it won't move around either. I definitely think this upgrade overall has made it uh, much better, but let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below, what you thought of the floor and the entranceway. And you will see here a little bit of additional work that I've been doing just to build up those inner walls and coming up on Sunday you will see a lot more done in that respect and also the mezzanine floor plus this uh, spire needs to be extended up still uh, I'm not sure I'll get that one done by Sunday but I will be kind of lifting this section up so we'll see how that goes but the idea is for Sunday is that I'm going to try and get the roof on uh, so that you guys can actually see what the whole building is going to be like and uh, That should look pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to it This section obviously will have the little chandelier that I did was intending to do for the midweek Video, but I've put that off until next week just because I wanted to get all of these upgrades done 
There you go, Brick fans. What did you guys think of the flooring and entranceway upgrades to Dock on Dials? Personally, I think that they are on a much better line now, and I'm looking forward to really pushing forward with the rest of this build now. Getting up those inner walls and putting on the roof, that is what I'm aiming for, to at least get the roof started for Sunday. And of course, coming up on Tuesday, I have the live build where I will just finish off the last little bit of my dream build and then I will be starting on some digital designs for some of the smaller parts of bar 2. So that is something a little bit different that's coming up on the channel. If you guys are still here, clearly you enjoyed today's video so give us a thumbs up and I would suggest that you also subscribe so you don't miss any more content coming up on the channel. So that's it for today's episode as they say in bar two, till the spire, and may the bricks be with you.